Hello besties, my name is Mayana and today I'm going to be talking about book series that I DNF'd. So I saw Reagan from Peru's Project do this video and I thought it was very interesting and I thought why don't I do one because I suck at DNFing books but I will DNF a series immediately and I have a whole list of series that I have DNF'd so I'm just gonna go with them. Okay so the first series is Red Queen. I do not like, I don't think that I am a fan of this author's books. I read the first book. I thought it was fine. The only character I really liked was Maven. I know how the series ends kind of so I really don't care. I also thought that the main character Mare was like very bland like wasn't nothing to her and it's so sad because I love stories when people are like have like special powers and they're just figuring out that they have special powers and i just had so much hope for this book and literally nothing happens throughout the entire book until like the plot twist at the end but at that point i was like well i don't care about the characters i didn't care about the book why would i read it and the books just keep it getting bigger and bigger and then all the fans are like oh this the first two books are not good but the third one is like these books are not good and like the third one is a good book but the last one isn't and it's like i'm really not about to sit through these really big books that are not good especially because i don't like the main character and i don't care for her the covers are beautiful but i do not like mare and i'm not gonna sit through a series where i hate the main character the next series ironically is realm breaker so i think in my i know in my review my goodreads review i said that i may continue on with the series and i think i may have said it in like one of my wrap-ups or one of my following follow-up videos but i just decided that i don't want to read this book victoria avard is just not the author for me it's just not the kind of YA fantasy that I want to read and it was just very boring nothing happened didn't care for the characters I don't think that Victoria Avert knows that like it's not 2012 anymore so we don't we aren't really going to accept these books that are really boring and it just happens to have like a, a male character swoon over or like maybe you do like the main character it's just like she cannot keep getting away with writing these really boring books. The next book I have is Serpent and Dove. I read the book when it first came out. I just was not a part of the hype. It seems like something that would be definitely up my alley but for some reason I just didn't care for it. Like I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I just didn't care. I also did find that it was really weird that it was set like very it was set it's like a historical type of book but the way they talked was very modern. I did think that that was pretty weird. But like all the other issues that everyone found with the book, I didn't have any issues. I just didn't like it. Plus I think the follow-up covers are ugly. And one thing about me is if I think the first book is okay, but the rest of the covers are ugly, I am not going to continue. And I'm probably going to get rid of the book that I have. Because I purely live on a study that you should not judge a book by a cover, but I do. So... The next book is House of Earth and Blood. So I said recently that I just didn't want to read Sarah J Maas anymore. She's just not the author for me. Everything about her is just okay. Like everyone was like, oh my gosh, you love. Everyone was like, oh, you love Acomath. And I thought it was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, never continue on. I read Throne of Glass. It was pretty good, but it took me until like four books in to really like a series. Like, I already can't t continue on with the series when the first book I enjoyed that was okay. But this book, it was just, uh, House of Birds and Blood was just okay. And also, this also follows the trend of the first book being pretty good. And the cover, the second cover is hideous. Um, sorry to all you Sarah J. Mass fans out there. That book is very hideous and I am sending love and prayers to you for that reason. The next book I have is Caraval. I not this is not for any particular reason. I thought the book was okay. It's just very weird because I love carnivals. I love circuses and fairs and all of that. Like I just read the Night Circus recently and it's like I love that book, ironically, who would have thought? Um, so you would think I would love Carnival too, but I think by the time I read it, it just read a bit too young for me. I read it earlier last year, earlier 2020, and it was good, but I just realized it just read a bit young for me. So I didn't really want to finish on with the series. And I think with a lot of these YA books in this list or YA in general, some books just read a little too young for me. 
and um there's no problem with that just for me it's just not something that i really look for in books anymore and the next book is fury born which is ironic i think this is a really good YA, and it, it doesn't read too young at all but i just found it boring like i know this one had like smut and i was so excited for that but it just was very boring i don't know if you guys want me to tell you what these books are about because they're very popular so i'm not fury born which is very it was just very okay it was very boring like i really thought it was going to be good with like seeing how one queen became evil and the dual timelines and things like that but i just was bored out of my mind and i i did like a character but she wasn't like my favorite character i didn't care about the ships which i'm not gonna lie usually when i do read ya fantasy i read it for the romance so an author and that is jay kristoff and i did say in like an authors i'll never read video that i'll never read him and i did end up reading empire the vampire but if i remember correctly i also said that like i might read some of those authors because sometimes like saying that i'm not gonna read an entire author is very hard but like series i already can't read series that i already like so i'm not gonna read series that i don't care for so i'm definitely not finishing illuminate i thought it was very okay i didn't love it i do love mixed media books but it wasn't enough it was just too long for it to be mixed media and then i also have aurora rising on this book which was illuminate but it's weird okay illuminate and aurora rising are the same thing except aurora rising is just in like book format but a little bit of mixed media throughout and then illuminate is the exact opposite like it's in mixed media but a little bit of book format throughout and of course i also have never night on this i thought it was very boring i honestly even with empire the vampire like i thought it was okay and i also find a lot of similarities with empire the vampire and never night it's like jay Kristoff. he has these ideas and he likes them so he's like oh i'm just gonna use this again for another book like the whole nun thing in empire the vampire was like used in never night and i don't think that i really like nun concept books like i think they're really cool but then when i read those books like I read Red Sister and I didn't care about it. The next book is Kings of Wild. This is an adult fantasy book. I just did not have the same feelings as everyone else. I literally remember reading this book. I was like playing Sims the entire time. So I was listening to the audiobook playing Sims. And I was like this is when I was playing Sims for like 42 hours straight. And this was Kings of the Wild was like very it was very boring and it was funny and but i was just reading a bunch of like old men going on an adventure and that's pretty much what adult fantasy is so i get used to that but it's like it wasn't anything that really grasped my attention so i would not reread the book that follows his daughter because i don't care the next book is gilded wolves but we're just gonna put a little asterisk by this because the only reason why i didn't finish is because the second book cover was ugly but the third book cover is pretty so we'll just have to see and there was nothing wrong with the gilded wolves like i actually really liked it i just didn't want to continue on because i realized that i thought that the main male character was too angsty which is weird you would never think i would say that but he was just like just like when i th think back on it he was just like very very angsty the next book is want by cindy pond uh I do not want to finish this series. I thought it was okay. It's a YA sci-fi. I find that a lot of YA books like YA thrillers, YA horror, YA sci-fi, I hate. I don't know what it is about it. I hate YA thrillers. I hate, I hate YA thrillers. I think pretty much Ace of Space is the only YA thriller I've liked in a while. Take The Taking of Jake Limson is the only YA horror book I've liked in a while. I do not like the way that ya writes thrillers horrors and sci-fis i think because they can't go the way that i want them to go like they can't go all the way on certain topics because it is ya so they have those restrictions but it just i just don't like ya sci-fi i didn't like um marie lou's book and i uh, i really wanted to like that but i just didn't like it and i just don't like ya sci-fi and that really sucks because i love sci-fi and then the next book is the diviners which i own a copy i do own a copy of and you're probably like mayana you didn't like this book you're not going to continue on with the series why do you still have it because this is a hard to find copy so 
why would I give it up? I didn't hate the series. These books are huge. I just don't care about the characters. Why would I read these huge books where I don't care about the characters? I'm not, I'm not setting my, I try, in this video I'll talk about the book series later, but I tried that and I'm not doing it again. I can, like I said, I can barely even read the series that I like. Why would I read a series where I don't care about the characters? Which is hard because I'm not a character person. So, listen, you might be just as confused as I am. Because I don't know what I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me. And you don't know what's wrong with me. So, we're both just sitting here, confused. The next book I have is Renegades. And I mean this in the nicest way possible. But this book was just childish to me. Like, it just read very low YA like very low YA like the characters are probably like what 16 I felt like the, the it read like it was for 13 year olds and I think I also went in this with high expectations because they're you know enemies to lovers they're like secretly in love with each other blah 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 blah, blah. I had a bunch of tropes that I like I go and read it and I'm like mm. it reads very young so for that I just can't I tried to push through it I tried to so hard I could not I could not and the next series is Sleeping Giants this is a adult sci-fi book there's nothing objectively wrong with the book at all like I liked it I read it twice gave it what three or four stars twice it was fun I just don't ever see myself continuing on with it because I don't really think that it needed to be continued on with but I also didn't finish it so I don't know it could have it could have needed it could have needed that i just felt like everything could have been summed up in one book this is also i'm very i like very concise books i do not like when books are long when they don't need to be i don't like when series are long when they don't need to be like if i read a series and i'm like two books could have been taken out of this i don't like it if i read a book and i'm like 300 pages could have been cut down I don't know what it is about me it's just like I will get bored and I'm like this did not need to be here and so I just like very like concise stories so if I read it and I figure and I realize that it didn't need to be there I'm gonna low-key hate it and another book on this is The Curse of Dark and Lonely and if you remember when this book first came out I loved it I ended up giving it like four stars or five stars and then I like changed the rating to like three stars because I had fun while reading it like it was a I read it pretty fast I had a lot of fun but then I realized I don't I like the characters like I liked Grey but I just didn't care about the characters as much as I thought I did I did not care about the romance between the main character I really want the main character to get with the side character didn't care about the main romance and so then I figured I was like what three books I don't care and then there's a spinoff series I don't care I don't know I just don't care also have Chaos Walking, so The Knife of Never Letting Go. There's nothing objectively wrong with this book. I just feel like I haven't... I read this book the first time, what, two years ago? I didn't get to it then. I'm not going to get to it now. I have so many series I need to read. This one I will put a little asterisk by and I may come back to in the future. But as of right now, it's been like two years since I've read the book. And I still haven't watched the movie. Still haven't finished it. I do want to. Like, the covers are so pretty. The Black Edition covers, ugh, I have to have them. But I'm gonna get them no because I'm not even gonna continue on and the next book is the emotional crow uh this one wasn't as popular so this one is like a basic fantasy book it's like every it's like has like tears for like people and it's like the tears are like named after birds and so like you know the higher you are the more you know money you have or whatever and the lower you have the less money you have whatever very basic why a it's very basic like fantasy trope which i've seen it done so many times that when i read this book it didn't bring anything new to the table so i just felt like i didn't care not saying sometimes you know when you read a book and it doesn't bring anything new to the table sometimes it can be refreshing but at the point when i read it i had read so many books just like it that i just didn't care the next book i have is find your side the book was boring as hell the one of my favorite characters in the book was a key a talking key I'm not continuing on with the books. The next book is Hitchhiker's Guide to something of the universe. I have read the second book. I just don't care about the books. Like I love space operas but it's something about this book that it's just like it's just like so quirky. Like the jokes are just so quirky and it's just like I just don't I just don't care. Don't care. I don't I the humor is just not for me. Let's just say that. 
um i read this in my space sci-fi space opera days and i don't regret it i did have fun while reading it but like i said it was just a bit too quirky for me so i don't think i'll be continuing and then the last book on this list is red rising i did just read the series this month i read the first three books and i did not care for those i didn't hate them i didn't love them they were just like three star reads and i do think that i was listening to the audiobook and i realized like on like the third book that it could have been the audiobook that i didn't care for the audio person so i do think i'll go back and reread the first trilogy um because i i do i did like the book i like the characters i like the plot it was just something about it that just wasn't fully clicking for me so i do want to go back and read it physically or maybe ebook but definitely not audio but like i said so i gave it three stars so if i did not care for the first three books and his fans who love the series don't care for the next two books why would me someone who already didn't care continue on with the series see what i'm saying so yeah maybe uh if the fans are like yeah book three is so good you guys yada 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 i might take it out but as of right now i do not care that is it for this video if you want to see a video on book series i am in the middle of book series i finished which would not be a very long video because i have not finished that many series um please let me know because i do love talking about like books i've read with you guys and just in case you don't want to watch all my wrap-ups or stuff like that or you don't catch all my wrap-ups you want to know what i've read or what i'm reading or you know how far i am with certain series please let me know i would love to do videos like that for you guys and let me know what series you are not continuing on or if you have the same series as me that you are dnfing and hey if you want to convince me to continue on with the series please try because i can easily be convinced let me know some good tropes i might like i might continue on who knows but yeah thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video everyone was like oh my gosh you love Aqu everyone was like oh i read the first I read the 